What up YouTube, Wesker Griff coming back with a mail day recap video. Got three packages from YouTube, one trade, two just becauses. Also got one TTM in from the last time I made my video. It's actually a spring training return, so that's been pretty cool. I've been getting in a couple spring trainings, uh, which is always nice because uh, a lot of time they'll just sit in limbo, so it's nice to uh, get returns uh, from those ones that you send out. And uh, before I start the video, just want to congrats to the Giants fans that uh, are on YouTube, John Greek, uh, Nate, and the Cardman64. Uh, congrats to your Giants. Uh, Madison Bumgarner was a freak. I think he had the best ERA for a pitcher ever in a World Series, and that dates back to like over 100 years, so that's insane. So, it was a good World Series. I, I thought it was... Definitely a really fun series. A lot of the games were closed except for the two blowouts. Uh, but it was really even keel World Series, so it was cool. Uh, so, enough talking. I'm going to get into the mail. Like I said, this uh, this TTM here is from Spring Training. And uh, I don't know where it's coming from because the machine really didn't print it out clear enough. It kind of looks like it ran out of ink. But uh, this is coming back from Minnesota Twins second baseman Brian Dozier. And he wrote to Ed, Brian Dozier. Really, really nice autograph there. And really happy to get this back. I haven't seen too many returns from him. And he's a really solid player. Uh, I think he was an all-star this year. But he's really, really solid. Take a look at his numbers. And a nice up-and-coming player for the Twins. So really happy to uh, add this to the collection. So, thank you, Mr. Dozier, for signing. Uh, like I said, the packages from uh, YouTube. Uh, this first one here is coming from Rich Breeze No Ain'ts. And I messaged him actually about this package because it was a little strange because this is how it arrived. It had no mailing address on it and it had no tracking on it. So, I was like, I've seen this happen one time before. On YouTube, I forget who it was, but they had a package show up with no postage whatsoever, and it got delivered. Because usually, if you don't put anything on it, uh, the post office just sends it back to the address over there. But I did message Rich, and he did pay for postage, so I don't know what happened. I guess it fell off. But uh, that was really cool, I thought, because when I when I opened my, my door to check the mail, I saw that just sitting there, and I'm like, wait a minute, this has no postage on it. How did this even get to me? So, uh, that was really cool that it got here, and, uh, yeah, I just thought that was pretty cool to share. Uh, but he wrote, part deuce, and he sent me some really nice stuff here. A lot of variety. Uh, this first card here is a nice dual autograph of Mike Richards and Mike Knubel for my Flyers PC. Very awesome. This next card here is a nice on-card autograph of Eric Valent. Fun fact about Eric Valent, he was actually in the same draft as Pat Burrell, who the Phillies drafted number one, I believe, that year. And Burrell's actually a scout with the Giants. I saw him at the ALDS, uh, ALDS, ALCS game against the Royals. That game two I went to, I bumped into Pat Burrell at uh, Pot Bellies, which if you guys are, well, I shouldn't say you guys, if you go to Orioles games at Camden Yards, you know that Pot Bellies is like literally a block away from Camden Yards, and he was in there chilling with a bunch of other scouts. I literally ate lunch right next to him. I didn't say anything to him because I, was, I, was, I wasn't wearing any Phillies gear, so it would have been a little awkward. Plus, he was eating. Um, next card here, Ben Revere autograph. From Bowman Sterling. I think the Phillies might try to trade him, which I think they should. His value's at its highest it's possibly gonna be, so why not try to trade for him? Trade yeah, trade him. Uh Manny Machado. Orioles definitely missed him uh, when he wasn't playing. Bowman's best. And this nice tops rookie card. He was such a he was such a big piece missing from that Orioles lineup because I really think if they would have had him, things would have been a lot different. Because then you put Flaherty at second base and you're not playing scope and 
scope, if you look at the numbers, was pretty much an automatic out in that series against the Royals. Uh, Golden Nuggets, Cal Ripken insert, really nice. And this really nice rookie of Nick Foles when he had his college days back at Arizona. Very nice. Uh, this really cool Donovan McNabb piece of the football from Upper Deck MVP. Very cool. He is now a commentator. And we got one more stack here. If I can get it open. There we go. Got a nice Jordan Matthews out of Top's Finest. I'm hoping that he picks his game up a little more. Uh, because when Macklin got hurt in that Cardinals game, he left for a little bit. That, that was really scary because the Eagles don't really have too many more playmakers uh, wide receiver-wise other than Macklin. And this really nice Nick Foles unleashed. Really like that. Big Nick Foles fan. Um, he had a rough game, but... Quarterbacks are going to throw interceptions, just part of the game. He'll get better from it. He's only 25 years old. So, thank you very much, Rich. Really, really appreciate that. And, guys, like I said, if you haven't checked them out already, link is going to be down below. So, please check them out. Rich is really, really awesome guy. Um, Rich, I really appreciate you uh, uh, sending that my way, man. Thank you very much. Uh, and next here, I got a package from that guy. Partly Cloudy 531, Matt. Send me some cards here. Got a nice little note here. He put, Ed, I looked all over for the Ashy I pulled from Tier 1 and couldn't find it. I'm thinking I might have left it in Cleveland. Hopefully this is something... You can enjoy instead. See you around on YouTube. Matthew. Partly Cloudy 531. 101. YouTube PC right there. And Matt um, pulled a Cody Ashy out of Tier 1. And when I was talking to Matt about that Mike Miner 101 I sent him, uh, he asked me what I was what, what cards was I looking for on eBay. I told him. I was looking for, we were talking about all the different cards and triple threads. I was talking about how the Cody Ashy 101 sold for like an insane amount of money over the Mike Miner 101. And I was talking about how Mike Miner probably has a better career right now than Ashy and why is Miner selling for less than Ashy. But anyway, to get to the point of the story, he said, well, I have an Ashy. I'll send it to you. Um, he couldn't find it. No big deal at all. Uh, Matt, uh, the fact that you sent anything to me, man, means a lot. And uh, he sent me these two really nice cards. He sent me this nice Chris Davis out of Triple Threads, number 24 out of 352. So really nice. He sent me this really awesome Robin Roberts, Best of Baseball 2011 Authentic Cut Signature from Beckett. So really nice there. Robin Roberts is... One of the most underrated pitchers of all time. If he would have played on the Yankees in that era, he probably would have got a lot of more notoriety. But he played on a lot of bad Philly teams and lost a lot of one-run games. So he would have had a lot more wins. He was a beast. He was really good. Uh, but this is out of the Beckett 2001 Leaf Best of Baseball Cut Signatures uh, series. I think most of the players in this series passed away. Because I have a Steve Barber in this series for the Orioles. So really, really nice there. Matt, thank you so much, man. Uh, hell of a hook up there, man. So really, really appreciate that. And I'm, I'm glad you liked the minor. and glad I can help you out with that. And uh, guys, if you're not subbed to Matt, part of the Cloudy 531. Don't know what you're doing. Awesome guy. Awesome uh, Braves fan. Falcons fan. And I believe one time he went to a hockey game. He went to a Atlanta Thrashers game. I remember one time he talked about it and he said they threw like an octopus out on the ice. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering something. But, anyway, moral of the story is Matt's an awesome dude. So, please check him out. 
And then finally, this last package here is a guy that I'm starting to uh, watch his videos. He commented on a couple of my videos, and uh, that's what happened with uh, Rich, too, Breeze No Ain't. He was commenting on a couple of my videos and started talking to him, checked out his videos. But uh, this is uh, Rock Fanatic 17 uh, He messaged me uh, a couple weeks ago, said he wanted to send something my way, and I said, yeah, man, sure. Um... Hit me up with your address too, and uh, send me a really nice stack of stuff here. I'm going to show the uh, the note he put here. He put, Ed, what's up? Hope all's going well. I love to watch your videos. You are an awesome tuber and have added some sick cards to your collection. I've been on YouTube for over a while now myself. Um, I don't know how I went this long without seeing your channel. I uh, sold some things I think that you'll like for your collection. I don't have a place for them in mind, so I hope they find a place in your PC. Thanks for all you do for the community. Keep up the nice videos, man. Cheers. Rocks uh, Fanatic 17 So really nice note there, man. Thank you for the kind words. Really appreciate that. It means a lot. And uh, he sent me a pretty big stack of stuff here. He sent me uh, this really, really nice Adam Jones. Uh, it's like a black border Gypsy Queen uh, jersey card here. I have a card from this set, but I don't remember it being blackboard, so I'm not sure if that's an insert or not. Either way, really, really nice card. This uh, nice prospect auto of uh, Parker Bridgewell for the Orioles. Number 27 out of 699 from Limited 2011. This guy was a super nice dude. Uh, Brandon Snyder, Bowman Sterling autograph. He was such a really cool dude. I met him like twice at FanFest. He was really down to earth, really nice guy. He didn't work out with the O's, but I was glad to see that he did have some success with the Rangers, and I believe he was playing with the Red Sox last year. So, really cool dude, and uh, wish him all the best, but uh, I didn't have any certified autographs of him in an Orioles card, and this is an awesome add to my collection. Thank you. This really nice, um, kind of shined insert of uh, Chase and History of Cal Ripken Jr. It's really nice, Nick Foles rookie at a finest. Uh, this Cole Hamels from Bowman Platinum and I do believe the Phillies are probably going to trade him Cliff Lee from Bowman Platinum Miguel Franco from Bowman Platinum it's Cliff Lee Refractor from Chrome it's nice Cal Ripken Mini from Tops. Cole Hamels from Chrome uh, this really nice Adam Jones from Tribute Ryan Howard from Tribute and this Ryan Howard number 99 uh, from Tribute, the blue back. Uh, that's from 2013 Tribute. Very nice. This Brian Westbrook uh, jersey card from Top Stadium Club. Uh, Brian Westbrook actually does the pre and post game for the Eagles now. Very underrated player in his day. Was a beast for the Eagles. And uh, Mr. Michael Vick, who I called it. I did call it. I don't know if it was on a Facebook group or it was one of my status updates, but I said this guy would be starting this year for the Jets. He just he has that thing that Michael Vick he gets into the locker rooms, he he persuades people because a lot of the guys playing in the NFL now grew up playing Madden, playing with Vick and it didn't help that Geno Smith was playing pretty bad, but Yet again, Michael Vick finds a starting gig somewhere, so he'll be starting again. But I knew that that was going to probably happen this year. That's why I was so glad that the Eagles got rid of him, because get that distraction off the team. Uh, but anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, thanks, Rocks Fanatic. Thank you, Rich. And thank you, Matt. Really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. And um, if you have any comments, leave them down below. And uh, take care. Hope everyone out there is doing well. Peace.